Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of these three designs. They were all done using Lauren Sherman's script, which uses a combination of dots and lines on these four different letter stems to make our consonants. And vowels are a bit trickier. They're always smaller circles, and they have different positions depending upon what vowel they are and if they're attached on one of these four stems or just alone on the word circle. So this is like representative of the word circle and the relative position. So A's are outside, E's, I's, U's on the line, and O's are inside. And this is the representation-ish of the consonant stem but this is kind of a hard example because it looks different on all the different consonant stems. It's just kind of a general idea. So um, here is the actual example of the combination of all four of these stems plus alone on the word circle and all five of the vowels. So here's an E on the line of the word circle. So as it goes, a B E because it's inside the consonant stem, a J E because I should also point out this is a B stem because it's this deep divot with no modifiers. This is a J stem because it's a circle inside the word circle with no modifiers. A T and then a TH. So E, B, E, J, E, T, E, and TH, E. And then similarly have those for all four, uh, all five vowels. <laughs> so yeah, that, that'll be what I use for referencing vowels. So let's go ahead and look at our designs. Even though this one is the simplest looking, I do have some shenanigans happening. So this thing here is a T stem that I have kind of busting out of the out of its riches. It's kind of breaking out of the word circle and the sentence circle, just for some style. So it's still obviously a T stem because it breaks into our word circle like a bite out of a cookie, except it continues out but it never continues out past more than 50% of its uh, arc. So it doesn't start curving back in on itself. So if it were curving back in on itself, it would be one of these stems, but it does not. So it is one of these stems. And it's not part of the sentence structure because it breaks before uh, the sentence circle crosses over it. Be a bit more confusing if this break weren't here, actually. So anyway, here we have our first word, bottom of it. Uh, here's our first letter. Oh, this is the sentence circle. We that's where I would put punctuation if there were punctuation in this word, but it is just the word love. Here's the bottom of the word circle. Here's our first letter. It is a circle inside the word circle with one, two, three dots. So that is an L. And then we have an O, again, inside the word circle. And it's a small circle, so it's a vowel. So that would be inside the word circle, so O. And then we have that shallow divot with one line. So shallow divot, one line is a V. And then we have the E. Um, on the line of where that word circle would be. So the word circle continues around. That E is on the line where that word circle would be, or uh, it is also closer within the consonant. But it's kind of tricky with E's because this is on the line of where that word circle would be or towards the middle of it, whereas an A has to be centered outside where that line of the word circle would be. So that's the difference between these two. A's are further out, E's are closer in relative to the word circle line. Anyway. So L-O-V-E, and then let's go to this word. Here's the bottom of it. So this has a double sentence circle, which is fine. Um, you know, it's this outer sentence circle and this inner sentence circle. We just made some decoration uh, around the joy. So here's the bottom of our word. Here's our first letter. It is a circle inside the word circle with no modifier, so that is a J. Continuing around here, we have an O, just like this O, hanging out inside the word circle. And then we have a circle on the line of the word circle with two dots. So circle on the line of the word circle with two dots is Y. So there's joy. And then here we have a little phrase, um, pace bene. And here we have the bottom of it. And we have a circle inside the word circle with one, two lines. So there's a P. So these things here are all just the lines on the P. It is not its own word. I do not overlap words because uh, then it would be impossible to tell if it were a word or um, modifiers, because here's like a thing, it could be like a J-O-P-T-H, uh, I don't know, but <laughs> anyway, I'm getting kind of more into it than I really need to be. This is a P because of a circle inside the word circle with two lines. So P, continuing around, here's a smaller circle outside the word circle, so that is an A, and then we have, continuing around, a deep divot with two dots, so that is a C-H, and then an E, and then we have our next little tiny word here, and it is just one little vowel alone on a word circle, so that is just an E, so just a little E, little E here, and then we have a deep divot, and a line passing through a stem does not count, it only counts if it ends on it, so this ends here and it counts once, it ends here and counts again, so that's two, 
but here is zero because it never ends. It just keeps going through. So that is just a B. B, no modifiers on a B. And then another E, just like this little E or that little E. And then we have an N, circle inside the word circle with one line. And then another E, so pace bene. And love and joy.